Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress DV tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well in our last video we showed you how to install WordPress, download the DV theme and set your home page. In this tutorial today we're going to build this full width slider. Divi just keeps getting better and better with more and more features and it gets easier and easier to use. If you want to take it for a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. First thing I did I went to unsplash.com it's one of the my favorite haunts for uh, downloading stock images I just put in a search for computers. And then went ahead and downloaded some images for my slider here. Simple as that. Okay, so let's get back to the website. First thing I want to do is go and create a new page. Let's go to our dashboard, or we could just actually go up to new and go to page. Now I'm going to create a page. I'll call it home new. going to publish it now I've given it a name hit the publish button there it is published I'm going to use the Divi builder now yesterday we used a little pre-made template plate just to set the home page today we're going to build from scratch so I'm going to say start building it's going to prompt us to insert a row I'm actually going to X out of that I'm going to start a new section and we're going to make it a full width section and I'm going to use a full width slider down the bottom here and as you can see it's already put something in here that's the row that was there before we can get rid of that row so let's just check out of that one and get rid of that section there that we don't need now our sliders at the top here okay so if we go to this dark tab here hit the cog we can start editing editing our slider I'll just move this to one side so we can see a bit better here's the actual two slides it's put in there for us I'm gonna get rid of the second one I'm just gonna keep the first one hit the cog to edit it put in my title whatever you want I'm not going to change the text there I really haven't got anything to say I'm going to change the text on the button to learn more of course you'll have something to say if you're building a website for yourself or a customer now we want to go down to the background and put in one of the images that we wanted so I'm going to go to background let's go over to image add an image and you can simply drag one of your images that you want to use over to your media library there it is right there and let's simply use that one it's got a check mark on it we can go ahead and upload if you want to do a bit of SEO for your site the alt text a lot of people really you're supposed to put in description of your image but a lot of people put in keywords for whatever the topic of their site is so you can do that there to help your SEO just a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and upload the image and there we have it we've got our image in the background there which is absolutely fantastic but you can't really read that text there so there's a couple of ways that we can fix that we can go to the design and we can use an overlay use a background overlay just hit yes you see that's made it a bit darker if I select black then it's made it completely black and we can go to our slider and just pull it down to where you can see the amount of photo that you want but the text remains legible that's one way of doing it another way to do it we turn that back off again if we go back to our content go to our background 
we've given it a, a background image we can also give it a background color so just click on the color I'll, I'll add that black if we go up to our image icon again and hit blend you can do all kind of creative things with it you can multiply that takes it all the way down there color burn difference you can play around with it and get some amazing effects but um, what I've got going on here if I just put it back to multiply which is one that I use a lot you want to go up to your color again click on your color click on the actual color box here right hand slide is the opacity and we can do what we did when it had that when we use the overlay setting so I'll take it down like that you can still see the image but you can also see the content you can read that writing nice and legibly now if we go back down to our click on the image icon go back down to our blend modes you can play with some of these and find something that suits you so that's two ways of doing it I'm gonna leave it just like that because I think that's pretty legible okay the next thing we really want to do I'm just gonna hit the save button and here's our actual settings for the whole slider itself not just the the image we put in there and we want to make this sort of a lot bigger so it fills the screen so I'm going to go over to design I'm going to go down to sizing and I'm going to go down to height and I'm simply going to take this slider and slide it until I've got it where I want it there we go it's pretty much full screen so I'm happy with that great let's save that what else do we want to do to it well I'd like to change the color of that button so it stands out a bit more and perhaps have it do something on hover I'd like my title to be a bit bolder so let's go ahead and do that hit on the little cog again into the cog for that particular one let's go to our design tab first thing I'll do is I'll go to our heading which is the title text and it's h2 it's already got it highlighted for for us I'll leave it as a default font obviously you can change it to whatever you want by default Divi's got hundreds of fonts packaged with it straight out of the box but like I say I'm just gonna leave mine on the default font I'm gonna make it bold I think I'll make it all caps there that stands out nicely okay what else do I want to do I think what I'll do is change that button I want to get rid of that icon I want to make it more legible I think I'll have it blue in the default state and perhaps orange in the hover state so let's go down we're still on the design tab let's go down to our button use custom styles for button click that to yes okay text size I'm gonna leave that just as it is text color I'll leave that as white also now button background color okay well let's make that what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna where it says button background color here I'm gonna click on the little arrow there that gives us a default and a hover so that's when hover you're hovering over it with your mouse it'll be one color and in the default resting state it'll be another color and I'm gonna go down to color I'm simply going to make it blue there we go and I don't want that white border I think I want a blue border it's a button border color again I'm going to click on the little arrow default state I want the border to be blue also that's fine now in the hover state I'm going to make the border orange and do the same thing 
with the hover state for the background color. Hover state, click on the color, choose the color you want. There we go. That's doing what I want. And when I hover over it there, that little icon appears for some reason. Let's make sure that our default color is blue. That's fine. Now if we scroll down a little bit more, show button icon. I don't want a button icon. If you do, that's fine. Um, you can, you've got hundreds of icons, ET icons to choose from here. You can choose the icon color and the placement. And you can only show it on hover for a button. That only shows it on the hover. That shows it on both states right there. It does go a little bit to the left, but I, I personally, I don't want an icon on my button. So show button icon. No. There we go. And last but not least, I'll give it a little bit of box shadow, I think. Button box shadow, there we go. Let's use that one right there. Fine. All right, I'm happy with that. Fantastic. So let's move on to the next slide. And all I'm going to do is copy this first one two little boxes right there go in there and edit it this time we'll do something slightly different um, I've got to, again I'll leave that content and the button text exactly as they are but we want to change out our background image So let's get rid of that one, add a new one, doesn't matter which one, that's fine, actually you can read that pretty well. Let's go to the color and make it a little darker, perhaps use a dark blue or something like that. Bring the opacity up a little bit more. There we go. And again, if you want to, you can go to your image down to your image and down and play with the blend mode. That's saturation at the moment. Let's multiply. Color dodge. Like I said, you can get some pretty interesting effects. Hard light. color burn like I say play with it get it exactly how you want it I'm gonna leave mine just like that and we're happy with that one now then let's go back create one more this time we'll create a little background for our we'll leave the slide nice and light color we'll just create a little background for the text there which is really easy We'll give it a slight, like I say, I've really not got much to say here. So this time, we're going to go to the background, add our image. Let's take this one, it's kind of light in color. And we've still got our color in the background there. We can take this color away. I don't think it'll actually let you take it all the way away. Let's try that one more time. No, it gives it a default blue, but that's fine. What we can do is just click on it and bring the opacity all the way down. So you just got your regular picture there, which is fine. That's great, but like I said before, we can't read that text. Easy. Let's go to our design tab. And we demonstrated a color overlay earlier on. We just click on that, click on the color you want. That's not what we're going to do. We're going to use the text overlay feature to just put something around the text itself. Hit the yes button. There it is. And let's make it black, but slightly, slightly opaque so we can 
see through it but, and yet still read the writing something like that or however you want it of course it's entirely up to you and if you want it to have rounded corners just slide this slider up and you can go from a few little slightly rounded corners all the way up to fully rounded corners so that's pretty much it with our slide I'm happy with that we've got three slides there the only thing we want to do now is work on the animation settings so let's go to our design let's go down to animation and automatic animation do we want it to do it automatically or only when people hit the arrows we want it automatically at least I do so I've turned that to on 7,000 milliseconds which will be seven seconds I'm going to do mine three three seconds 3,000 just so we can see it roll around quickly whoops not 30,000 <laughs> and continue automatic slide on hover that's up to you um, some people if they hover on it you want them to be able to read it so I'll leave that off if you want it to keep sliding when they got their mouse on it put that on to on so let's just see what we've got here let's just save that so it should slide every three seconds 1000 2000 3000 1000 2000 3000 there we go we got three pretty different looking slides there really easy to do another great feature of the the Divi theme so we just need to save hit the little purple button hit save now we've got our check mark we can exit the visual builder and here's our full width slider there we have it like I say those slides are rolling a bit quick but I didn't want you staring at it for seven seconds just waiting for the next one to come but you get the idea want it slow it down just go down to animation and put in the time that you want so there you have it I hope you've enjoyed that if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers so do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.